what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel now for quite some time a lot of you have been asking me how do i keep my phone here well it's actually quite simple i use a quad lock mount and uh, i've been using it for the past two years it has been gotten um, it has been used and abused quite a lot i have done a lot of delivery work uh, i have calculated it has over 10,000 locks and unlocks with this phone which is a pretty hefty phone it's a ulefon armor free w with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and weighs about 360 grams so it's about twice the weight of a regular phone and in this video i want to see if i can refresh my mount and not buy another one because currently it moves a little bit and if you force it you can actually unlock it without pressing the lever it hasn't fallen off yet so that's a good thing but i don't want to pay the 50 to 60 euros for a completely new mount quadlock says they you can refresh them if they get worn out just changing a couple of parts so i have here a brand new lever and a brand new back adapter plate also, what wasn't available when I bought my quad lock was the vibration damper. And uh, why do you need a vibration damper? Look, see, it is doing it. I don't know if you can see this, but the image is wobbling because the camera stabilization system is out of whack. But we're going to try and see if we can fix all of this today with just this was 15 euros this was 10 and this was another i think 17 or 15 something like that now what has gotten wrong on my quad lock let's see if i can zoom you guys in now what we can see is that this part of the mount is basically really worn and this is what's supposed to keep the phone in place also on the lever this part again this part is also extremely worn so that's why when you put it on you have this wobbliness it doesn't want to stay in just one place but hopefully by changing this back plane and this lever we will be able to fix that so let's get to it okay so we've taken the head off the mount is still here and the way you're supposed to change the lever is take the screw out, don't lose it, take this part out, and then you have the lever. And you're supposed to just tug on it, and it should, this metal part should come out. And also, this is the old lever, it's out. Now let's put the new lever back in. Okay, it's in. Now the metal part, the spring, like so, and close the lever on top of it. And that's your new lever. Okay, now we just put this part back on. And the screw currently just through it just put it through because what we're also gonna mount is the vibration damper so first the vibration damper goes on like so get it in nice and tight and now the new head with the new lever Let's get it tight. All right. So that's the lever changed, the vibration damper added. And now let's see. Already the movement has been reduced. Now we just have to change this back plane. And uh, it comes with its own glue. I haven't added any extra glue when I put it on. Just cleaned it up, the, cleaned the phone really nicely. So, for two years it has been on here, and I hope it's not that difficult to take off. Let's hope it comes off cleanly. 
Oh, it's coming. Okay. Again, I have not added any extra glue. Okay, so this part came out. Now we need to get this off. Oh boy. Well, not that difficult to be honest. The nice part is it comes off without any residue. It's not the easiest thing to do. Maybe some heat would help, but we don't have the luxury of heat. Spring is here, so the temperature is just about freezing as spring is. Okay, so the sticky part is off. Now we're gonna apply some regular window cleaner and get everything nice and clean for the application of the brand new one. Just a little bit of residue here, but that's not a big problem. You want to get it extremely clean. Okay, that's as clean as it'll get. And now we have the new universal adapter. So the adapter comes with its own alcohol prepad. So we're gonna use this to get all the grease off, just like so. This is what I used the first time around. So get all the grease off. And now we have the new mount, which has its own 3M double-sided tape on the back. So we just take this off. Again, for the previous one, which was on there for two years, I didn't use any extra glue. So it's just this. Center it. And that's it. The new mount is on the back. Again, I didn't use any extra glue. It's nice on there. It will take a little bit to dry, but uh, I don't have anywhere to go for the next couple of two hours or three hours. The new lever is on. Let's check it out. Much better, nice and snug. And now actually, because of the vibration damper, I can angle it backwards a little bit. Nice and snug. Now, so that was actually pretty good. Now it feels just like new. So after about 10 or 15,000 mounts and dismounts, all I had to change were these two things. And the mount is now just like new. Also, I've been able to add the vibration damper. Now, if you want, you can also add wireless charging uh, or a USB pass-through, whatever. There are a lot of things on the website. But for what I need, just a phone mount, and now with a vibration damper, this is absolutely perfect, and I'm real happy that with just about 25 euros, I could refresh my mount, and it's now just like brand new. So, I still maintain quad lock is the absolute best phone mount for your motorcycle or scooter, and I will continue to be using them. Now, this video was not sponsored by Quadlock. I just really like the product. Also, you can find down in the description below links to all of these products if you wanna buy them for your very own motorcycle or scooter. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care out there, and ride safe. Bye.